All right, folks, so with the rise of indiscipline and violence in our schools, joining us now to discuss the necessity or the absolute need for programs to help students better manage their anger is lecturer in practical theology at the United Theological College of the West Indies, Reverend Nielsen Wave, and Suzanne Rowe Bligen. Bligen. Bligen, CEO, Bligen Consultants. Welcome both to Smile Jamaica. Good to have you. Let me write this down phonetically so I don't forget it again. Um, <laughs> tell me a little bit about... Um, now that we don't know, Rev, but the catalyst for this program, no. Yeah, well, we've been, we've been talking about it for some time. As a matter of fact, um, UNITAS of Jamaica, uh, social agency and um, the practical theology department, we've been talking about anger management. About far before that, we, I had my students um, trained in restorative justice, and I would go to the Ministry of Justice and then I brought Mr. Mark Golden to the campus and then I brought Mr. Delroy Chuck to the campus. I also brought the anthropologist Herbert Gale because we were interested in get, uh, having students who are training to be pastors and ministers around the Caribbean um, to know how you can make a more important impact mm -hmm. on schools and children because that has been something that I've been interested in now for all for a long time, mm -hmm. um, counseling and therapy and working with children in schools. And um, so uh, more than 25 years ago, I decided to write some stuff because mm -hmm. I'm, the principals are asking me to respond to mm -hmm. challenges with children. And so I put the little book handbook book together. Mm -hmm. on paper. And from then, you know, we've been trying to do that. So we have we got some sponsorship from the um, Methodist Church in the United Kingdom. So we are distributing to schools from the, the Students Association and the Practical Theology Department um, some books and some, some books. That. And so we felt that this year mm -hmm. we need to go bigger. So Suzanne, it's a Take Control campaign. Right. Tell me a little bit about it and what does it entail? Right. So the Take Control campaign will speak to um, helping students to deal with anger and conflict. Mm -hmm. Right. The, this, it's called Take Control and the slogan is Take Control of Anger Before It Takes Control of Your Life. Mm -hmm. It will be in four phases. The initial phase is to get the handbook into the school to as many, many students as possible. After that, in order for them to, to um, ensure reinforcement and knowledge, we would love to launch a competition on Instagram where we ask them to act out or sing a song, create a drama, create a song with um, using chapters in the handbook. And then we would love to, phase three, we'd love to go into the schools now to have a um, anger managed forum where we'll have questions and answers and further, you know, talk to them about how to treat with conflict and how to forgive and all of that. And then phase four for sustainability because we don't just want to come give them go. a come and go right. So we want to have a support group in the school where we have mentors, um, mentors from corporate Jamaica, from the churches, from the schools, from the community mm -hmm. to mentor a child and can do it continuously and also um, we would love to train um, persons in the school, the guidance counselor, the deans um, and teachers on how to teach anger management. So they have continuous anger management workshop. You uh -huh. say, Rev, you've been working on this for a little while, many, many years, many, decades many years. in fact. Um, here we are in 23. Mm -hmm. Would you say the situation has gotten exceedingly worse and what would you attribute that to if the answer is in fact yes? Well, I, I recognize... Um, in 1995, Mr. Um, Golden came out with his book, Emotional Intelligence. But doing the research now, in 1973, some researchers from my alma mater, Yale University, rec recognized that there, there is an emotional brain that impacts how we relate, we feel before we think. Mm -hmm. And you have to go there. We feel before, before we, we think. think. It's true. That's why so many of us end up in problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yes, that is the yes, problem. Yes. So the impulsive behavior, take for instance, the, um, just last, this last weekend, 13-year-old mm -hmm. is killing her 19-year-old. Mm -hmm. Two lives are lost. Yeah. Yeah. And Dela, so you talk, yeah, Dela mm -hmm. talks about it all the time. Mm -hmm. And so the challenge here is to help persons not to act before they think. Yeah. And so we have to go there with our young people. The challenge also has to do in terms of how they respond when they're under pressure, when their peers are pressuring them 
to respond in a violent way. Mm -hmm. So we want them to be able to see that that's the easy way to get a ratchet knife or to get a gun. That's the easy way. But the hard way is... Be in control and yeah. try exactly. to make a rational yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Is this the vehicle for the child in 23? Yes. You know, is the child going to read this book given all the other deluge of information and the digital channels that exist mm -hmm. and they're on Instagram, they're on... Right? Is this the right? Yes. Hence the reason why um, we want to get it to the students, but to ensure that they read it, we will be launching the competition where they go on Instagram. You know, they live on the, the social media platform. Mm -hmm. So we'll be encouraging them to, to um, create a drama, create a song in with regards to the chapters in the book, post it on Instagram, and then get as much likes as possible. Mm -hmm. We know they like to do that. So that's the reinforcement method. And we are seeking the help of the guidance council and the principal and the teachers to have some session with them because it's not a just a, it's a workable book. Mm. It, it, it speaks, the, the, our author wrote the book that it speaks to them. Mm -hmm. So it's like he's talking to them. So there's quite activities in the book. So we're going to go in and speak to the principals and ask them to have a session. And that is where we also want to have the two hour session also to go in. We'll bring along the book and we will talk about it as well. Yeah, I was about to ask in terms of, of the content of the book, Reverend, and just how practical it was. Suzanne says, um, you know, there, there, there are things in it that they can do. It's interactive. Talk to me yeah. about, about the shaping and the design of it. Well, it, it came out of my experiences with schools and children. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, I, I took a break from it because I... It was a lot. I, I, I went through all the schools in St. Kitts. I went through all the schools in Antigua. And I'm doing all of this work in because I, I want to get not only to the teachers and training them, I want to get to the students and listening to them. Mm -hmm. And then I want to get to the parents. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the PTA groups. I'm doing the parents. A lot of work. The, exactly. Well, let me ask you, Rev. Interesting. <laughs> so all the school in St. Kitts? All the schools in anywhere? Antigua. <laughs> so tell me and how... I'm in Grenada with the, with the teachers as how well. How do we compare? I'm curious. Oh, it's big. Jamaica. That's why I took a break. And then I said, let me... But in let, terms of the actual situation the problem at no, hand. no 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 we are worse um it, it is worse. bigger it's much bigger i wouldn't say worse but it's much bigger and it's okay to say worse uh, if we're worse and therefore in terms of understanding the yeah, dynamics yeah. that are there think it's had some challenges as well in terms of gangs as well and um and so we want to hear from the students and that's what mm -hmm. the, that's how the book came about in terms of listening to them because my, I have a book called Provocation, Caribbean Youth, Anger, Violence, and Crime. Mm -hmm. And um, that came out of listening to the children mm -hmm. yeah. um, and recognizing that we provoke, as adults, we provoke them. Situations and systems, church, society, politicians, we provoke many of our young people to anger, violence, and crime. Mm -hmm. And so unless we are willing to listen, and so I... It was Actively. Actively, Active, yeah, actively. Right. Yeah. And therefore, um, I, I, I was doing some training um, on Saturday with some lay chaplains of the Anakin Church. And um, I listened to the principal of Moshet and um, uh, Mr. Mr. Leighton Johnson. He's, he's going to be he's the president-elect of the J Jamaica, Jamaica Teachers, Teachers Association. Association. Right. Mm -hmm. He has a system that I've been talking about for a long time. You have to have the parent, you have to have a community, the church, you have to have the students yeah. on a, in, in a support group so that when you hear or you see situations arising in the school, you can bring them in, you can nip into the bud, and you can talk it's to them. It's a collective effort. Right. A collective Suzanne, effort. before we go, I'm a, I'm a parent, I'm a teacher, I'm watching, and I want to have take control in my school, or have you guys come in and engage my students, what do I do? Right, so we are, we, I have sent out... Um, Lots of in email. So I started with the primary schools. I'll be sending out emails to the principal of mm -hmm. all the schools in Jamaica. I have the list. Mm -hmm. So I'll be sending it out the information. And we are asking, you know, we are seeking the support of corporate Jamaica to aid us in um, getting the books of the students. So I, I have also spoken to... Tell them specifically what you want them to do. Right. With the printing or with the distribution? No, with the distribution. Okay. Um, so I've spoken
spoken to Dr. Renee Level, which is the national president of the Dean's Association, mm -hmm. um, about the program. She's very interested. I've also got the opportunity to speak to some of the deans yesterday as well. So the next step is to send out the emails to the principal so they'll know about it, and then to speak to Corporate Jamaica. I've sent out emails to about 500 companies to ask Whoa. them to assist in the donation of the books. Mm -hmm. And once we get that, we'll go into the schools and we will distribute it. As I said, it's a collaborative effort between the dean, the guidance counselor, and the principal. Awesome. I want to thank you guys for all the work that you do. We have to go. I want to thank you for being with us this morning and sharing the information. Mm -hmm. It's important. Right. And timely. Yes. It's very important. Mm -hmm. So we're, right. we're, ha we're happy that. And we're thanking you yeah. for responding to us and, uh, and your call for an anger management program. I think that was, that was novel. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. All right, we'll be back after this short break with Marvin Campbell and Natalie Johnson of the Maya Foundation. Listen, come. Fresh air in the mop, fresh air in the morning. Six smile to the day, this guy gravitate. Everybody does smile when they witness. Yeah, hey, love it all, just go and hold the fitness. I'm a stay and I'm a business, always. always. Better live life simple nowadays. Thought people find a way to try your patience, I evade them. Fresh air in the morning. Six smile to the day, this guy gravitate. Everybody does smile when they witness. Yeah, hey, love it all, just go and hold the fitness. I'm a stay and I'm a business, always. always. Better live life simple nowadays. Always. 